Today we're looking at the Cadillac of digital microscopes, the Andenstar AD409 Pro with endoscope, endoscope, endoscopy, endoscope. It's cool. Big shout out to Anonstar. Thank you so much for sending it in for this review. Make no mistake, the 849 Pro is a big digital microscope, really big. You definitely need to have some desktop real estate uh, if you're gonna put this on your... I'll put it beside a standard sized digital microscope and I was actually using this one for a while. Um, it looks just tiny in comparison to the massive 8409 Pro, doesn't it? Wow. This thing really is huge. Because it's so big, it's definitely not a portable scope. You're gonna set this up uh, at some point on the bench and uh, it's gonna be staying there because really you don't wanna be moving this back and forth because there are so many different pieces. 409 Pro ships in this big brown uh, basic box, but it is well packed with foam and inserts. So um, no worries about getting damaged in transit. This particular unit ships with the endoscopy add-on right here, which is basically a, a third or a tertiary style digital microscope when you want to get up and close on a particular uh, venue. One of the really nice things about this piece of kit is the fact that it is all metal construction. Other than the adjustable knobs for the arm uh, up and down itself, that is the only plastic you're going to find. Pro boasts an absolutely massive uh, 10 plus inch digital screen. So this one is definitely big. Now, one of the big selling features with this digital microscope is the fact that you can also hook it up to your monitor or TV. Now that being said, because the screen display is so big, uh, whether or not you're gonna need to have that uh, added display functionality, it's always nice to have, but you're not really gonna need it most of the time just because that 10 inch screen is just massive. One oversight from Andenstar is the fact that the two LEDs that illuminate with that nice goose style neck here, um, they're on permanently. So as long as the unit is plugged in like so, there's no way to turn off that extra lighting. Don't know why we don't have a standard on off just for the illumination, but you don't. By the way, yeah, that is a solid metal base. So if you're doing any soldering with the Andenstar, fear not if you get some solder heat on your platform, it's gonna be just fine. One of the cool features is when you're in endoscopy mode, which we have that secondary screen coming up on the display right here. Really cool, so here I have an overall uh, view of the image. This is actually one of those uh, uh, water-based tattoos that you can put on, take off. But look at that, so we have that secondary image with the full image and that nice up-close image of the tattoo itself. And you can focus right down to the fine grain when you wanna get in there. And uh, oh yeah, check it out, very, very cool. The fine focus for endoscopy is right here, right on the tip. And you just move it ever so gently back and forth. And obviously you can move it left, right, center, what have you. And you can get really, really into focus here very nicely. So that dual display can come in super handy. Um, yeah, absolutely loving it. Let's take a look at those one touch controls located in the front face of the Star display over here of course we have our standard on off beside that we have our menu mode uh, long press the menu button gets us into specific modes we'll look at that shortly over here we have our up or zoom plus followed by the down or zoom down when you want to uh, get out over here is the okay start video record and right beside it is the picture or capture when you want to take JPEG photographs. Directly below here is the infrared sensor. Now remember when you want to use that remote control, you have to make sure that this is readily uh, available. If you're uh, beside it or on the side, the remote is not going to work unless it's indirect uh, interfacing with that sensor. Again, this is the endoscope uh, interface. So when you want to get that module or the optional module for the endoscopy, uh, this is where you plug it into. Beside it here is our memory card slot SD 
and over here is a standard USB port followed by of course your out HDMI to send it to a third party monitor or your television. microscope also ships with this pretty cool little remote control actually not that small um, good size and uh, it does a lot has all the functionality you'll get with the push buttons and more so uh, two for the price of one you gotta love it so unfortunately this is one of the downsides of this uh, digital microscope the fact that yes it does have that external display capability but and this is a big but when you hook it up to an external display you'll lose the display on the 10.1 inch built-in display so you're only getting one instead of two i don't know why i don't know why it's got to be a bug but man it is really annoying so it is definitely uber cool that you can throw an external display uh any size you want 75 inch flat screen if you are so inclined uh but you know we're not gonna try that today because that's really gross Ugh. When you hit the uh, NTL PAL on the remote control like so, it brings you different modes, and one of those modes is the endoscopy mode, which is really basically a close-up of something you're looking at. Um, can it come in handy? I think so. Is it maybe a little bit, uh, you know, not so useful? Well, I don't know. Your mileage is going to vary, but I think it's kind of cool to have that uh, sort of, you know, wide field as well as that close-up display. Maybe helps you when you're looking for something in particular that you're going to have to desolder or solder, what have you. But yeah, I think it's cool. If you're going to try some soldering with this digital microscope, you're definitely going to want to raise the uh, up microscope. Don't get too close. And uh, yeah, that's up looking spot right there you can definitely see the sheer power of this microscope uh this thing just you know blows me out of the water in terms of the clarity um, i don't get any sort of weird floating or uh you know, aberrations uh the image is always always nice and crisp and uh you know it's just a pleasure to work with now this retails for 399 to 400 Fifty dollars or so US dollars so it's definitely on the higher end of the spectrum for digital microscopes so you can really get in there nice and close oh my goodness look at that just reflowing these joints Yeah, you know, I just couldn't resist, but if you're a coin collector, you are gonna love this. Look at the detail, look at the resolution. Oh man, this thing is just nuts. Fine tuning it right now, and that is the sweet spot, and I'm telling you, whoa, incredible. Also comes with one of these hand-based controls, and this is for adjusting the brightness or turning the unit on and off. Let's take a look at the brightness. Let's just dim it a little bit, shall we? All with this little thumb control here. And now we'll make it brighter again. Yeah. Closing thoughts on the Amonstar 8409 Pro with Endoscope. Oh, yeah. This is one great digital microscope. It has so much functionality, so many features. Ah, it is just insane. Great looking piece of test gear. Man, put this on your electronics workbench and are you gonna look like a pro? My only really gripe is that uh, dual output uh, weirdness. Why can't we get both the 10.1 inch display as well as an external monitor going at the same time? I don't know. Other than that, this is one powerful digital microscope that offers a ton. The Andenstar AD409 Pro gets a solid four out of five stars. 
Oh yeah, if you're in the market for a digital microscope, check this out. I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.